Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. This video, I just want to walk you through how to identify the proper connection type for your John Deere um, and Hitachi uh, excavators. Uh, one of the uh, one of the more common service calls that we get from our customers is is issues connecting to um, to the engine side of their John Deere equipment, uh, particularly when it has a, a Zuzu engine in it. So I'm going to go through and look for a uh, under heavy equipment um, John Deere. I'm going to look for a 470 GLC. So the quickest way to do that, I'll go down to the LC series. Uh, scroll through the list and find 470 and the reason I'm going to use a 470 GLC um, is because in this version of, of John Deere excavator we have uh, two different options for engine type you could have a tier 4 final level 32 uh, John Deere engine or you could have a 6UZ1 um, Zuzu engine so depending on what version of power plant you have in this thing that's going to determine what connection type and location uh, is required to get into the engine side of this thing. So if you'd look at the body side, the body and gateway module, um, and go up to hit connector, it, you'll notice that, that we have to use in the cab here this six pin uh, GDC 535A or 535.9 in order to get access to the body side uh, um, uh, systems on this. So the body and the uh, instrument cluster or gateway module. Um, and then on the engine side, if I highlight that John Deere engine, you'll notice there's a different connection type altogether. So we, we have a nine pin adapter that's either going to be in the back of, of the machine in the, in the engine compartment or possibly the one up here in the, uh, in the, in the cab. Uh, that's what we're going to use to connect to the John Deere engine if it has a John Deere engine in it. Now, where we usually run into problems is um, that the technician will go out and they'll hook up to that... Um, that that uh, rear uh, nine pin connector, assuming that this is going to get them into the engine, regardless of what it is. Now, the the reality is that for the the uh, the Isuzu engine side of things, we do require an additional connector, um, and that's going to be either the JDC five sixty A nine or in this case the JDC five sixty one A nine. So you can see here, that's the 561A9. We got to put our external power into it and you're going to find that somewhere in the back uh, engine compartment. So you'll see there's the eight pin there. Um, it's going to be somewhere um, off of the ECM harness. Sometimes it's buried. Sometimes it's it's hidden under some, some tape. Sometimes it looks like it's connected into something for um, for another purpose. Uh, so it might not look like a dead end plug. It may be a little bit buried in there. So you might have to do some searching. Sometimes that takes uh, a little more time um, than actually, you know, doing the, the, the troubleshooting in some cases. So just to show you what it might look like, um, we'll switch over to our, our, our photo here. So this is a photo we took from a, a tech support call uh, recently, and you can see that uh, that eight pin Zuzu connector um, was actually detached from that plug um, underneath. So it, it does, you know, the, the pictures in JAL test are not, um, are not specific to that machine. They, they are somewhat generic, so it's not going to look exactly the same. Uh, but you can see in this example here, um, everything before we took everything apart to get that connector, you can see, uh, right there where that, that eight pin is. So we do have to unplug that. It does look like it serves a purpose there. Um, we're going to unplug that and we're going to hook up that, uh, that Isuzu connector there. So, uh, the other, other thing that we often run into is that the the uh, the the customer on the other end of the line doesn't actually have the JDC 561A9 connector or the 560, and they don't have the proper connection type for uh, this Isuzu uh, diagnostic connector here. So in those cases, uh, not all is lost. We can go through and, and walk you through how to use that multi-pin kit in order to get connected to um, that, uh, or to pin out the twisted pair on that uh, on that connector there. So uh, even if you don't have the 561A9 um, or the proper Isuzu connector, uh, there is the opportunity to use that multi-pin kit in order to get in. So that's... Um, just a quick overview of, of just how to uh, identify the different connection types on your John Deere excavators. 
Uh, just keep in mind that uh, if you're having any connection issues, uh, Whole Fleet customers, they have the opportunity to call our, our Whole Fleet line. Um, and uh, one of us at, uh, at Whole Fleet or one of the guys at the factory there uh, will go through and, and walk you through how to identify the connection type and, and get connected. Uh, there's a few other little things that we'll, we'll ask along the way just to verify that you have power, um, you got the proper connection, and your data link is, is, uh, is um, communicating properly. So um, give us a call if you need any assistance uh, or, or email our support um, our, our support line, and, and we're happy to help out. Um, as always, our whole fleet customers, this service is included with your your jaw test subscription. Um, but uh, anyways, thanks for for joining us. Make sure you subscribe um, to see more videos. We're trying to ramp up the uh, tutorial videos here for jaw test over um, over the coming months. So make sure you subscribe, check back for new videos, and definitely leave in the comments any um, suggestions for videos on how to use jaw test any troubles that you're having anything that you'd like a reference for uh, just leave that in the comments and we'll do our best to get it back to you